when Samsung announced the Galaxy S10 Lite and the Galaxy Note 10 Lite, they said like this, Building on the legacy of the Galaxy S and Galaxy Note series, these Galaxy Lite models bring key premium features such as the latest camera technology, signature S Pen, immersive display, and a long lasting battery, all at an accessible price point. But there's one thing here. The Galaxy Note 10 Lite range uses the Exynos 9810, whereas the Galaxy S10 Lite uses the Snapdragon 855. So light versus light, which one will actually win at Speedtest G? Let's find out. We have the Galaxy Note 10 Lite with the Exynos 9810 on the left hand side. We have the Galaxy S10 Lite with the Snapdragon 855 on the right hand side. Both are running Android 10. Both are running with the same screen resolution. So this really is a battle of the Exynos 9810 versus the Snapdragon 855. Note 10 Lite versus S10 Lite. Everything's light, but what is the performance? Is that also going to be light? Well, as I'm saying that, the compression test is already underway on the right-hand side, and only now the Galaxy Note 10 Lite has started the compression test, so that is already a lead by the S10 Lite over the Note 10 Lite, and definitely that lead is building as the S10 Lite is now into the 16 thread test. So the Snapdragon 855 is an octa-core processor. The Exynos 9810 is also an octa-core processor. Uh, so they both should be able to handle those 16 threads quite easily. And as I said that, the S10 Lite has now gone into the blur test, while the Note 10 has now also gone into the blur test. I am about to say it's just finishing, gone into the blur test, while the S10 Lite is into the infinite scrolling list. So this is the mixed CPU, GPU part of the test. And now we're gonna see the frame rate on the right-hand side as we go into this smoke particle test. 19 frames a second on the right hand side. What's it gonna be on the Exynos 9810 as we wait for that? As I'm saying that, the Snapdragon 855 in the Galaxy S10 Lite is already into the Unity test and it's doing very well through that Unity test. 14 frames a second on the left hand side, but really the Note 10 Lite is way behind now at this point. It's only now going into the Unity test. And unless somehow it can really, really fly through this test, I don't see it being able to catch up with the S10 Lite, which is now into the Unreal test. And the Exynos 9810, the Note 10 Lite, is struggling now at the beginning of that UD test. It's uh, certainly very jaggy there, certainly very jumpy. It's not doing very It's smoothing out a bit now. It's doing better. And that's it. The S10 Lite is finished with 1 minute 51.9. So now we're waiting for the Note 10 Lite to finish the same two tests, the Unity test and the Unreal test. Both of these tests, of course, designed to use the two most popular platforms that we have for writing 3D games on Android today. And that will give us a full idea of how these phones are able to handle 3D games. And we've already seen the Galaxy S10 Lite finish the whole test run in 1 minute 51.9. And now we have to see how long the Galaxy uh, Note 10 Lite is going to do. And as I said, that it's now gone into the Unreal test. So it's finished that Unity test. It's now got to make its way down this pathway through this forest written using Unreal. How long is this going to take compared to the Galaxy S10 Lite? But really, at the moment, there's just a huge difference appearing between these two phones. They both might be light. They both might be at an accessible price point. However, there really is a big difference in the performance between these two devices. With the Note 10 Lite definitely being the slower of the two. We will, of course, do a full breakdown of the CPU mix and GPU times at the very end. But at the moment, we can see the Note 10 Lite is really taking a long time to get to the end of this test. There we go. Three minutes, 4.8 seconds. Okay, let's break down the times and uh, let's have a look exactly what happened there. So as we clearly saw there, the Galaxy S10 Lite won one minute 51.9. Over 72 seconds later came in the uh, Galaxy Note 10 Lite, three minutes, 4.8 seconds. So CPU 53.4 versus 46.1, a win for the S10 Lite. Mix CPU, GPU 34.3 versus 26.8, another win there by the S10 Lite. But the real difference came to the GPU, one minute 37 compared to just 39 seconds. So a huge difference, almost a minute difference there between the two. And so when you add them all up, a clear win by the Galaxy S10 Lite, one minute 51.9. My name is Gary Sims, this is Speedtest G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, well, stick around by subscribing to the channel. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.